A smash and grab robbery leads to hours of drama in Yonkers as police went after the four suspects who went into a quiet neighborhood. Now, take a look here, this surveillance video. Tonight, three of the four of these suspects are in custody. Police say they're from the Bronx and they have criminal records. This store owner tells CBS 2's Tony Aiello what happened. He came and he was fighting with them, grabbing the jewelry inside and pushing them outside. Jewelry store owner Tony Montana is cleaning up and adding up the value of what was stolen. 5.30 Thursday afternoon, brazen robbers used a crowbar and a sledgehammer to smash his display window and grab $100,000 worth of gold chains and diamond rings. Yonkers police say the suspect in the light-colored hoodie cut himself while grabbing for loot. Inside the store, this employee, who wants to remain anonymous, decided to fight back. First, swatting at the robbers from the other side of the glass. Then, running outside, grabbing a sledgehammer and pounding on their getaway vehicle, damaging it as they drove away. We outrage, and of course it's sad because it's like when you work so hard and somebody just to come and do that to you, it does hurt. As bad guys go, these four didn't exactly impress Yonkers police with their planning or execution. This was a very bad plan. Uh, they were in the heart of the city during rush hour and attempted to flee with a vehicle with out-of-state license plates while wearing masks. So they were very easy to identify. And easy to track to the Park Hill neighborhood, where the suspects crashed their vehicle and fled. A manhunt collared three of them before the night was over. It's a reckless plan, which makes you think, what else are these people prepared to do? The NYPD has reached out to see if this April 29th smash and grab on the Grand Concourse was done by the same crew. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.